terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the Vilar King for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> Yet, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain.
I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Welcome to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Introduce the game's core elements. Each message will be saved in the glossary, where you'll find some detailed information about the world lore and the gameplay mechanics. You're running out of juice. Minimap and objectives. The minimap in the upper right and corner of your display shows your current location in the surrounding area. Underneath the mini map, you'll find the objectives for each active quest. So there's a the mini map, and then it says use your Witcher Sense to find the key to the bedroom door. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. There we go. To unlock locked doors, walk up to them and press A. Go to the lower level. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice. She'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. 
now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. I forgot you had cho options, choices in this. are still slow maybe for a witcher think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger disobeying his instructions unwise well yes but that book was horribly dull I know and you know that's no excuse <sighs> I'm sorry it won't happen again Is not good enough. Excuse me, I didn't mean to cough. You're going to read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety, appendices included. No, please. I'd rather clean the stables. End of discussion. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a Witcher school or an Elven bathhouse? To the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Tell you about breathing through your mouth in rhythm with your steps. <sighs> Siri, cut it out. I heard a little bit. There we go. I beat a little girl. Look how cool I am. <laughs> Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, Knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me. Lambert with Eskel. Ciri with the dummy. <sighs> Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Ooh. 
We'll start from the beginning. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Garrot. All right, combat. Witchers must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds, be they plated clad knights. Plate clad, not plated. Plate clad knights. Either real uh, rafts or bone crushing giants to match the strengths and expose the weaknesses of different enemies. Witchers need to use a variety of weapons and compact techniques. The core tools of their trade are their sword, one steel for fighting humans and non humans, the other silver for slaying monsters. Witchers have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells well by mages, but they can be cast very quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witchers are also adept to basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes. All right, draw your sword, your steel. All right, selecting targets, press R stick to select or deselect a target. When you have a target selected, all your attacks are directed towards it. Do not have you don't have to select a target during combat, but doing so can help you focus. Mount a fast attack against. Okay. Position Siri. Footwork. Remember. Roll out of the way. I was so say. To roll out of the way of a blow, choose a direction. Okay, are you going to tell me? Oh, not that. There we go. So with a parry, it automatically attacks. Okay, cool. Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with Quen. Siri, Quen is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Hmm, cool. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. See, if not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. All right, Geralt. Come on! See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off the yeah. Destroy their written. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. All 
All right. You can use to temporarily disorient. Combat is now over. Okay. Fine. Enough. Continue training at will. There we go, we did some training. Wow. The wild hunt. Explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room. Morning. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me, Tris, Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Siri. And then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, 
but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The Wild Hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Life on the content in the school league. Piles is nasty, brutish, and short. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares life in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their heads, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. Okay, um... Necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Eating or drinking or meditating for at least one hour. I plan on the blood and broken bones and death march levels. Meditation does not regenerate. Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use during combat, which would be up or down to consume them. Okay. You have some food equipped in your upper consumable slot. Press up now to eat it and regenerate. To have your horse come to you, double press. Walk up to your horse. Walk up to your horse and press A. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. I was just listening to him talk, okay. Witchers spend most of their time on the road in search of their next contract. They must trek across wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, trug through thick bogs. Luckily, Garrett, Geral? Gerald can always count on his horse, Roach, to help him in his travels. To have Roach come with you, press double. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. Giddy up. Come on now. Okay, we're going to follow him. 
New Marker Crossroads. A lot of ingredients around us. We're just going to go play a 100% storyline and click every time there's a conversation, click the top option. See where it takes us. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Right, we're gonna follow him. Lilac and gooseberries. Sometime later. We going? Help me! Help! This is a trap. Definitely not. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. All right. New entry has been added to. The... Okay, why did you push me? Greetings. All right. On a road, hold A without steering to automatically follow its path. Okay, cool. I was going to say, man, the... Griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. We're going to listen to him. To the mountain shore, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Herbs monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. All right. I was going to say, holding down A, I'm glad that happened because I was like, riding the horse is kind of choppy. I miss Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> they have the best horse, uh, my opinion. Uh, you're nearing a village. Popul populated areas. You're nearing a, nearing a village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft and always also won't look kindly on you Accost uh, uh, yeah, accosting others. Local residents often erect 
notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. These are marked on your map. Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witches, and local happenings. I told I ran that kid over. Come in here. Come in here. <laughs> I got stuck. <laughs> Better not drop my ale. It's not my ale. Okay. Samaria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. Nilfgaard. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. <clears throat> Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Alright, so dialogue shops. Options marked with the money bag and coin next to it. Okay. We'll open the shop panel. Um... Let's click on it to see what the Tell me what you got behind the counter. Nice. Buy and sell items using the shop panel. Press A to make a purchase. Press B to close the shop panel. All right, so shopkeeper, so I can come over here and look at their different things. So those are cards. Looks like I got a good amount of coin. Don't need anything. Going to make it as basic as possible. Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah. Especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. All right, so on these ones, we're going to have to probably go through all of them. For all the other ones that are sh two answers, so we could probably just click one. Click the top one. Change it up there a little bit since I didn't remember that you could do this. Okay. Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And it seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Well, it's crazy that they hung the lord. You got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. 
but it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. She seems nice. Thanks for everything. All right. Last time I played, I went through. I talked to everybody. I was gathering stuff. This time, I'm just gonna help you bandage that up. Please, I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. I just. I barely played around with. Uh, this time, gosh, I forgot what I was gonna say. This time we're just going to play around and just honestly go through the main story. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Options marked with a triangle will make use. Okay, this sign influences people's minds, causing them to act according to your will to charm more stubborn individuals who... Would otherwise resist during a conversation, invest in the illusion ability. Okay. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Five people! The freak's taken Micah's mind. Uh huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Yeah, you tell him, Witcher. Gerald. Ask travelers. Already asked her. There are four factions. Four. Fa what a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What do you mean? Okay, like I said, we're going to click on the first one. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Okay, we gotta decide. So, I guess, like I said earlier, we'll start with the first one, work our way down until we're done. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I have a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend. No tenure to gain. End notes to compile. First soldier you see will kill you. Why would you do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. Okay, so the white ones will go through, the yellow ones will just pick the first one. I forgot they were color co coordinated when we do these. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Okay, we're done. 
Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Oh, do I, do, can I go back on my word? I don't want to play Gwent. I'm going to say no thanks. I went back on my word. Some other things on my mind. Shame. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. Ah, well, I'm here if you change your mind. Okay, I, I feel that that works because I said we're getting right to the story. Moving along. There was a kitty somewhere. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries. Dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Let me cut to the chase. Have you seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Snaps. Never mentioned her name. Snapple. You described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Come help it. Item received. Okay. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I oh, know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. We didn't drink our drinks. And I gotta admit, this is very helpful just hitting the first one. You no know, thought behind it, and it tells me a different side of the story, which is super cool. All right, well, that's The Witcher 3. We're going to start this series because I want to play it again. Been waiting. Thank you for hanging out. I do appreciate you for liking and subscribing. You're a great person for doing that. Thank you, my friend. And we'll see you soon.